Good morning, GCN and others. PB here early Monday, sun's coming up. I'm praying that you are waking up in the hope you have in Jesus, both for a life that never ends when our few short years are done here, and the hope that uh, because of his transforming power, his life-changing grace, uh, today doesn't have to be the same as yesterday by his grace put any failures behind and to look forward to new possibilities today. I believe in that with all my heart. Had a great time in the sanctuary and online yesterday in services. If you haven't had a chance to see those, uh, I'd encourage you to do that sometime today or this week. And uh, yesterday's service was a call to worship and prayer. I've been extending that call for a couple of months now. And I ask you to pray for three things. Pray for God's healing. Pray for God's guidance pray for God's help I uh, lifted up 2nd Chronicles 7 14 yesterday again if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land I pray for your healing my healing today if any hurts or uh, any uh, strained relationships emotional healing relational healing spiritual healing, the restoration of a strong faith, uh, restoration of a deep love for each other, whatever healing we might need. And I also prayed yesterday that we would be healers, that we would be ministers of reconciliation, that we would be restorers. And it occurred to me this morning, as I thought about that Second Chronicles 7:14 passage, that if we are to be healers, like God uh, does with us, we will need to hear and we will need to forgive if we are going to be uh, ministers of reconciliation restorers healers and I pray that God gives us the grace to do that uh, pray for God's guidance these days we're in the midst of some planning for the days ahead and the years ahead and we want God's wisdom and guidance Proverbs 3 5 and 6 uh, Pastor Brian lifted that up yesterday trust in the Lord with all your heart don't lean on your own understanding don't depend on your ability to figure things out in all your ways. Acknowledge him, know him intimately, and he will direct your path. He'll direct our paths. We're, we're counting on that these days. And then uh, pray for God's help in these uh, ongoing challenging days. We are not out of the woods yet, and we need his help. We need God. Uh, Kelly lifted up Psalm 121 yesterday. I lift up mine eyes unto the hills. Whence cometh my help? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. And if you're looking for a reason to praise God today, to worship him, just look around. Look at the beautiful day we have. He is the Lord of heaven and earth. He made it all. And life's a gift. Life's a wonder. Life's a miracle. If a miracle is something that we can't do on our own, that totally depends on God, then our very existence, the fact that you're listening to this little video today, that you're alive and well, is a miracle and a gift from God. Praise Him for that today. One more note. Yesterday, I was told, was Single Parents Sunday. And I had intended to say something in the service yesterday, but didn't and want to today. Hats off. Prayers for. Uh, kudos to those of you who are uh, single parents who are trying to fill the role of both mom and dad. Uh, I know a bunch of you, and you're doing a great job. I'm uh, encouraged as I watch you uh, do all that you do for those kids that you love so much. And I'm praying today, uh, especially, that God will give you an extra portion of his grace and pour out his love into your hearts today. Uh, keep the faith, uh, stay encouraged, and Always feel free to call any of us up, your pastors, your friends in the church, if you need anything at all. Well, God bless everyone today. Hope it's a good day in Him. See you soon.